Hi everyone, welcome to another video on quantum mechanics. Today we are going to know about the Schrodinger picture. We all know a quantum system can be described by a state. We generally denote that state inside a kit and that state is denoted by Greek symbol psi and as this state will be dependent on time so this state is function of time and to know about the time development of this state we have to use the time dependent Schrodinger equation which is mainly governing the quantum mechanical world as in classical world we use the equation f equal to ma to know about particles next features next position velocity etc in the same way in quantum mechanics to know about this states time development means what will be the state after some time you have to operate the Schrodinger equation in this state and the equation says i h cross del del t of this state will be the same as Hamiltonian operator operated on this same state psi of t. So this is the Schrodinger's time dependent equation. And if you make some rearrangements, let's take this psi of t to this hand side and you will get del psi of t divided by psi of t will be equals to h cap at the numerator we have h cross i and if you multiply upper side and downside by another i you will get this will be i square and at the top you will get one single i and we all know i square equals to negative one so this i square will be get vanished and one negative sign will be arised at this side and we have dt here and if you take integration on both hand side you will get ln psi of t will be equals to this is a constant term so i h cap divided by h cross of course negative integration of dt and what would give this integration and as in this case we have not mentioned the limits of the integration it's a undefined integration so we will get some constant term and after integration we will get instead of dt we will get a t and the constant term we are denoting as ln psi 0 that's all and after you take a exponential term to both hand side you will get the final result that is psi of t the state which is describing the quantum mechanical system will be equals to e to the power exponential power negative Hamiltonian operator small t divided by h cross times this ln will be removed and it will be multiplied by this e so you will get psi zero state from this equation we can easily see that the state at time t will be arised after operating this operator on the state at time 0 means at time t0 so this is the Schrodinger picture in Schrodinger picture the operators like x cap p cap or h cap are time independent they don't vary with time but the states vary with time as shown here and as a whole this exponential term can be written as a 
symbol u of t called the time evolution operator so in exams you can be asked for the derivation of this time evolution operator given as exponential negative i h cap t divided by h cross or you may be asked to derive the time development of the quantum mechanical systems state described by psi of t arise from operated by this time evolution operator on the state psi 0 so it's clear from this that in schrodinger picture the operators are time independent and the states which describes the quantum mechanical systems are time dependent that's all for this schrodinger picture we have to study for our level and after this we have to study the heisenberg picture